next question. Uh, yeah, thank you, Dame. I appreciate you. Um, so my question is, when you're looking for talent, because this is what everybody is going to want to know, like, how are you finding talent? Is it just in your network, the strategic connections to, like, maybe somebody, like, I owe a manager a favor, I'm looking to get this, you know what I'm saying? Or is it just personal preference? Is it library-based where your, your team is searching through libraries? I know that you guys are big on the indies and giving a light and a leg up to I like some of my favorite people like cautious clay is somebody that I've seen you guys um, do a lot of things with um, and so I just I love the Xavier Omar he's a friend of mine I know y'all have worked with him extensively so um, what where are you guys sourcing your artists from is it the camps things like that I just kind of want to know what your process is when it comes to that yeah I mean it, it's actually all of the above it's uh referrals like the first artist we saw at Timar I've known her manager for years so he was like I'm working with this artist and you know the artist was talented and we signed her um so it's, it's all of the above it's it's referrals it's you know being on the internet it's paying attention to the streets and what they're saying um it's also data and analytics and, you know some people you know don't like to hear that but you know some of it we use a company called Chartmetric and you know, you start seeing things trending and poking their head out. Uh, so that's always cool. Um, Endify is another great platform where it actually pairs artists with funding. So, you know, y'all should be on that. That's I-N-D-I-F-Y. We've um, had, we had Connor on um, last year, I believe. So I'm, yeah. I'm a fan of Endify as well, for sure. Yeah, Connor, Connor's a good guy. And they're, they're really tapped into, you know, data and analytics. So it's, it's all of that. Um, in terms of what makes us decide that we're going to sign someone, um, you know, first of all, it's talent, right? You got to hear it and be like, okay, I see what this can be. Um, hearing it and then seeing it and saying, I, I see where this can be. Um, but then the second thing, and probably 1A is, obvious, is honestly their team, you know? And I use, I'll say team, but I'll also interchange that with their mindset, right? Mm -hmm. Because number one, they have the talent, so that attracts you to them. But what is their mindset? What do they want to be? I've had some artists that come to me and say, I want to be the biggest artist out. Cool. So in my mind, I kind of know what that strategy is. And first of all, if you want to be the biggest artist out, that's a major label strategy. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, I'd be happy to debate with anybody that says otherwise. But you don't get a Drake, you don't get a Beyonce without a major label. If, if their strategy is, you know, I just want to have a sustainable career. You know, I just want to be relevant and I want to like, you know, be able to pop out here and there. Cool. Then, you know, that could be a major label route, but that could also be a distribution route. So knowing what they want and seeing how you could best accommodate is important. Um, and then how are they willing to get up and work for it? You know, are they willing to make the sacrifices that it's going to take to become that thing? Because, you know, this entertainment stuff is for, is, is for play, right? Like at the end of the day, it's like, you could do it, but then you could easily not do it, right? And at the end of the day, we're not curing cancer. So you got to really want it because a lot of doors are going to be slammed in your face. A lot of people are not going to believe in you. You're probably going to get offered some shitty deals. So how bad do you want it? Um, and then the other part too is their team. Who's guiding them, you know? And if they don't have anybody guiding them, then cool. Can I come in and can I help put somebody in place to help guide you? Um, also, are you going to listen to the advice that I have to give you? That's very important because you'll find you'll sign talent sometimes and, you know, you'll deal with their team and you're like, yo, they're working against me. Um, and so having a having making sure that artist has a legit team in place is, is crucially important. And, you know, don't bypass the homie. You know, a lot of times you might have a homie who sometimes homies get a bad rap, right? Like, oh, I grew up with him. He's smart in business. So I want him to be my manager. Okay, cool. Those situations are 50-50. I've seen it work great and I've seen it not work not so great, right? So, you know, you really got to vet out who you have. And if you have a homie that it wants to get in the business, just make sure that they're doing their due diligence. I always tell people, you know, you got to strengthen those muscles while nobody's looking. So if you got a homie who's new, but you trust him and you want him to be on your camp, on your team, cool. Make sure his head is in the books. Make sure he's out networking, having the right conversations. Make sure that he understands the difference between this and this. All of those things can be learned. Um, so essentially, that's, that's what I would say we look for.